welcome again to Three Minutes Without Mike. This week, I'd like to talk to you about something that confuses many people. Baptism. People have many different understandings and about what it is, what it means, and how it should be done. Most of us probably don't realize that baptism has been around longer than Christianity. You see, the Jews used to immerse their bodies in baptismal vessels before they could enter into the temple complex. This was symbolizing that they were washing away their sins. Well, today, baptism is understood differently by many Christians. There are basically three forms of baptism. Immersion, that's where your whole body goes under the water. A fusion, which is pouring water over the head. And aspiration, which means sprinkling water on your head. This past Sunday, we celebrated three families as they dedicated their babies to be raised in Christ. Now, other churches would have services where the babies would experience aspersion, meaning their heads would be sprinkled with water. And then as those babies matured, their faith would be confirmed at a later time with knowledge of God's word and the repentance of their sins. Well, this brings us to what we do and why we do it. You see, we view baptism as an act of obedience. We are following the example that was given to us by our Savior Jesus Christ. We believe we should be baptized because we believe that's exactly how John the Baptist baptized Jesus. And we are baptized as a public demonstration of our acceptance of God's grace and the repentance of our sins. You see, we're showing the world that we're going to live a new way, a brand new life. We're washing away our old ways, and as we come up out of that water, we're shouting out to the world, we're not who we used to be. We're on a new path, and we're following Jesus as our Lord and Master, and we have joined the fellowship of like believers. And you know, as while we would like to see many people follow in believers' baptism, we also realize one important thing. Baptism doesn't get us into heaven. It doesn't matter if you're baptized in every church in Chester, Illinois, and beyond. Salvation is only by God's grace. It's a free gift, and it was paid for by the blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember what it says in 1 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a brand new creature. Thanks for watching this week. Look forward to maybe seeing you this Sunday, 1030, as Pastor Bruton begins a brand new series, two-week series that I know you're going to enjoy. Or come and be with us Saturday night. Hopefully the weather cooperates and we'll be out in the parking lot for our drive-in service. See you then.